we are not seeking to uh, saturate neighborhoods with cameras, but rather there are public uh, places now where oftentimes uh, gang activity and, and shooting activity ends up taking place, uh, where uh, this will be a useful tool both to discourage that kind of activity, but also to make sure that uh, for investigative and crime prevention uh, purposes, uh, those uh, cameras are deployed. That's Mayor John Tory talking about new audio technologies approved by the Toronto Police Services Board. Now, Toronto City Council is tasked with coming up with the money and approving $4 million to bring those shot, uh, shot spotters to the city. They're cameras that alert police to the sound of gunshots. The technology is already used in 90 cities and is part of Tory's plan to tackle gun violence. But one criminologist we spoke with here at U of T says that uh, statistically uh, surveillance video doesn't do a whole lot to tackle crime and he believes that the money could be better spent. We are in a climate right now where we're trying to focus on trying to improve the relationships with communities that have historically had negative relations with the police. I think putting people under additional surveillance uh, creates a negative culture of distrust uh, for these communities. I think it's going to be uh, very negative for the young people living there, especially knowing that they're being under constant surveillance. I think it does little to show that the police are actually trying to make an active effort to improve relationships in these cities, uh, sorry, in these communities. And I think that money of that nature could be better spent towards programs that are actually dealing with the causes of violence in terms of working with young people who, uh, in terms of employment, education, and other types of social and structural issues. Now, yesterday, Mayor Tory did announce a 16-point plan focused on increasing funding for community engagement and after-school programs aimed at addressing the root cause of violence. And some of that will start this summer. As for the cameras and gunshot technology, Chief Mark Saunders will be tasked with deciding where they'll go, but he says he hasn't identified any areas yet.